Dignitaries, including state governors, traditional rulers and the diplomatic corps, converge on the International Conference Center in Abuja for the second National Health Summit. The last time a similar gathering was held was six years ago. A meeting, some say, prepared the ground for the 2040 National Health Act as it deliberated extensively on health care financing. This year, the doctors are focusing on the rights of patients in health care delivery. The time has come for us to jettison the traditional care pattern, where in most settings the patients contribute minimally to decisions about their health in its entirety, and embrace the laudable transition in patient care, which emphasizes the active involvement of patients in their, and their relations. Patient-centered care is a new medical jargon that places the interest of the patient above every other interest. Addressing the gathering, the keynote speaker insists that medical practitioners must, as a matter of urgency, imbibe this culture in order to reverse medical tourism and achieve universal health coverage. The Nigerian patient, if you treat him well, if you create a partnership that is enduring, will not forget the good that you have done. But when we treat them as if they are just a burden to us or a burden to the nation, even the very poor amongst them will start to look for funds to go overseas. In consonance with our physician's pledge, our patients ought to be respected and treated fairly. The Minister of Health, who represented President Muhammad Buhari, maintains that the health sector is in dire need of reforms. The loss of confidence in our hospitals is the father of medical tourism. There is no doubt that our health system is in need of review, and particularly that our hospital systems and service provision need some reforms. Nigeria's health sector struggles with myriads of challenges, including poor funding. Out-of-pocket spending is still very high and represents about 70% of total health expenditure, a situation that many experts say must be addressed urgently in order to achieve the goal of universal health coverage.